Hello everybody, my name is Doc Riva and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 playing as Venice. We just defeated Austria in a pretty badass war. We took Cremona back as it is our core. We took Ferrara and are now, wow, we have four revolt risks still, but we still need to core it as well. That is with harsh treatment, so that's high chance. And we also took Slavonia, but again, Croatian is accepted culture, which is useful for us in the long run. So, Venezia, fleet is home. The armies are now home. Milan is no longer a valid rival for us. And military access from Poland. Sure, Poland can have access. I can do access me. Yes, I can. Um... Training fields, any oh plus twenty five in Zagreb because of course they are an accepted culture. Now we are lacking a rival, and we can choose between Aragon, Hungary is back as a rival, or Switzerland. And right now I think Aragon is a good idea. Aragon prestige, no trade efficiency penalty while embargoing. Uh, yeah, sure. That also means I will. Um, Start embargoing uh, Aragon. Because I like it. Maybe that will give us a bit more money. So, three, yes, you can combine. You guys can combine. There's a bark here. I'm building more barks, so that's the thing. And these guys are still on our way home, which is fine. I do have more claims available. Domenico, controversial protectionist. Well, Morocco can go home with its military access. Since Domenico Pissarro started providing advice for the trade developments in Venice, internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased state regulation. While his decisions to improve infrastructure have been appreciated, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question his philosophy. They argue that the Doge is taking his advice too readily that we should look for mutually beneficial deals with other nations rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. Oh, that's our trader. Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. So, um, his thinking has helped us so far, which will gain us mercantilism for Republican tradition, or he leaves our court. There's no one really to replace him right now, though. Hmm. Do I want to gain more mercantilism? We are 34%, as long as we stay beneath 100. But it, it does strengthen our pro provincial trade modifier. So I will ask him to leave our court because I want a Republican tradition for now. And we kind of don't have an advisor available right now. Might have at the start of next month, but... Uh, ah, there we are. Pascale. Ah, it's a... Statesman, I actually don't mind that at all. That's a good replacement then. Getting a statesman. Just need to wait one more month for the money. Whoa, we're making lots of money. Despite just losing the trade efficiency as well. There we go. And here we are. Our navy is back home. Our barks are under construction. France is still beating up on Austria, which is hilarious. We have finally managed to convert the heretics of Corfu to the true faith. And now we have more, we actually have more Protestants than uh, Orthodox right now. Should I just not go Protestant and be happy? I wonder. Convert to Protestantism. It will lose us 100 prestige. Statute of Saint of Repeals will be removed. We get a lot of mon uh, money. For 10 years, we get. Missionary strength with his heretics plus 10%. And Calabria also changes to become Protestant. Now the thing is, because we're a merchant republic, it's even it's actually better to go reformed. But we'll see how it goes with the um, spread of Protestantism automatically. And for now, we do need preferably another missionary available though. That's the thing. So we are one diplomatic idea off of another merchant. State Inquisition, lots of spy defense. That's actually pretty nice. Uh huh. We get good stuff here as well. We've stopped improving relations with France. Sure, I'll recall him. Let's see. 
is Bosnia. Yeah, they're still a little bit pissy, of course. Covert actions. We can actually fabricate a claim on Srbija. Oh, we now border that as well. So yeah, let's sure. Let's do it. Does have a lot. Exceptional near year expired. Oh, that's where our big income was coming from, of course. We had an exceptional year, and I completely forgot that we had it. Ragusa, Ragusa. Um, yeah, so I don't really want to convert these provinces just yet, because we still have an 85% uh, religious unity. And the Venetian first, Christian second thing is actually helping us as well in there. We can build a marketplace in Slavonia. Or on Malta. I like the idea of having Malta get one marketplace and everyone to Ragusa including our small trade fleet over here you are patrolling the Ragusa node, yeah you are that is the one I want um, so we'll have nine on that f as well Constable still not worthwhile to get just not in the long run, they might provide us more money, but it's just not that much. Um, Ragusa, we do have a lot of trade power already here. Where are my merchants? 1.82 is transferred up 88% in Venice. Holy crap. Almost or We are almost dominating the trade there. Um, but only 19% here in Ragusa. There's way too much being transported up to um, Vienna. And that's already better. But no one wants to do anything with uh, Vienna, uh, Venice anymore. I mean, this is everyone that still has some power left in this node. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yes, we could build another training field. I mean, 21, 21, Corfu. We are getting 350 per month now. So I guess for now that's fine. But how many troops? Oof, there's a lot. Oh, right, mercenaries. We should... Um... Ah, nice. Disband them. Zagreb is now also Protestant. I really, really don't like that at all. Protestantism is coming along nicely. Oh, lots of this in this territory, by the way. Huh. Who else is Protestant? Bohemia, Saxony, Brandenburg, Denmark, Sweden. Or is this... Yeah, that's Sweden. Oh, the England is Protestant. There's a lot of Protestantism spreading around. So, yeah, I think it will be beneficial to go uh, Protestant. But we need to do it at a time where we can convert a lot of places after one another. Reform Desirous High, that helps as well with that. And of religious turmoil in Denmark. We do have Brahe quite um, tight at the moment, which is nice. Yes. Um, course, almost done in Ferrara. That no revolt risk even. Oh, harsh treatment is already helping. That's even better. Oh, Austria, you're being sieged completely. Brandenburg is close though, but they still have three of them. Ferrara is now considered part of your patrimony. Yay, Ferrara. Um, yeah, but... Oh no, they've discovered us. Dang. They haven't built a dock here. I will build a dock there. <gasps> Worrisome indeed. So, who against us is in the coalition now? It's the wrong mode. Coalition map mode. Collect benefits over time. Yeah, indeed. Exceptional year is good. Genoa's ended. Only Hungary is now in a coalition against me. It's the only one. Yeah, it's because of that uh, being discovered with that uh, claim we just did. Um, yeah, I don't want to claim anything else right now then. Diplomatic. See, this is what we're all claiming in Bosnia. We're also claiming Messina and Ancona. Oof, there's a lot going on there. Military alliance with Milan. Milan and Austria, that is. But France is just sieging up Austria completely right now, so... They haven't got much left to do. Oh, that's a shame. 
Oh, they're long to... Oh. Actually, that's useful. The power projection for embargoing actually helps. Um, 290 versus 1 stability. I'm, I'm just going to lose the stability now. You're coming home. Switzerland really loves us, so that's not a big deal. Tuscany really loves us, but we can top it up. And how much would it be to boost our stability? 124 only. It's actually quite cheap. Um, I wait. I will wait for the core construction though. But administration, administrative efficiency is gained from high levels of administrative technology. It's a measure of how effective your nation is at integrating foreign territory. Oh, that's useful. Hmm. So the higher you are in administrative tech, the easier it is to... Oh, wow, look at this. Then it becomes cheaper to actually take huge areas of land. Because you can core them quite quickly. They're actually running through our territory to get away. That's not... No. No. That's just... They want too many of my provinces right now. They are only at minus 20 in Savoy, by the way. You know what? Let's, uh... Ooh, Civil War in Bohemia. That's never good for them. Let's improve relations with Savoy. Let's see what we can get there. Also, how is Portugal? It's at 77. Ah, yes, we did increase that a long time ago. Trying to get them to stay out of the war, which kind of failed. Um, yeah, we still have Cyprus as well. Just by the way. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to save up for a, um embassy. And get a fourth diplomat out there. I mean, that's useful. And we're getting close to military tech level 9, actually. Religious civil disorder. Uh, despite his effort to mediate between the different religious groups in our nation... Conflicts have been erupting on a regular basis. The situation has worsened, and without drastic measures, we will soon be engulfed in a religious civil war. Either we lose stability, or we get eight um, rebels popping up in Donji Kraj. I would rather have the rebels right now, and this is not good. Religious civil disorder. Can I perhaps get someone that reduces my... No. I do have an inflation reduction. Oh... Yeah, let's get the Master of the Mint, by the way. That might be useful for a while. It will give us even more money. We should strive for a tolerant society. We kind of should. Huh. Yeah, we should strive. I kind of don't want to lose even more manpower than we already have. This does sound like a good moment. We have 83% religious unity, and still we get this one. That's just annoying so how many provinces would we need to convert one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen currently only have six six so twenty five in total but if we have the um, unrest anyway why shouldn't we just go completely, uh... Huh. Why shouldn't we convert then? Tax goes up. Oh, and I want to be... I would really like to be reformed, though. And that is going to be a problem. Hum. Um, you still have nationalism just a little bit. Whoa, okay. Um, 20, please spend it. Same in Donji Kraj, only 20, so spend it. Travunya can... No, that's not Travunya. This is Travunya. Also, 20 military power. Gladly spend. Zagreb, um, 20. Gladly. Dalmatia, Naxos. Wow, everyone wants to do this. Jesus. Uh... Huh. Lika as well, 5.1. Oh, it's only 10 here, though. Yeah, it's 10 times base tax is how much it costs. Really, Ferrara? Wow, we are even harshly treating it already. Cyprus, Dalmatia. 
Um, yes, you can have it. It's expensive, but we kind of have to. Especially on the islands, by the way, because if I have to keep transporting... Oh my god, 80? Costs me 80 here. Damn it. Uh, diplomatic skill of at least one, a theologian. Missionary strength goes up, though. Hmm. Theologian advisor of at least three skill. Missionary strength, though. Uh, that's an interesting one. What does it say, anyway? Make an illegal offense, punishable by burning at the stake to either own or produce a translation of the Holy Bible. Tolerance of heretics, plus three. You need administrative level ten. Administrative level 8, just act of uniformity, that's useful. Administrative level 8, tax for stability costs, conventile administrative 10, also missionary strength. Ah, there are the missionary strengths, but we need three more levels of administrative tech to get everything we want. Annoying. Uh, we still have high revolt risk on Cyprus. Yeah, I'm gonna just going to spend the 80 points because it's otherwise going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, military power, monthly increase, plus 8. So, 10 months just to do this on Cyprus, by the way. Um, revolt risks. Romania 4.1. Has already been harshly treated. Ferrara, Slavonia. And Malta. Yeah, I think that's about it. Because all the other places are already done. So... You know, if we had reformed, I would instantly convert to reformed and then just get rid of most of it. But that shouldn't... Okay, um, Hum gets ex gets uh, fortifications. It's useful. Um, mm -hmm. Austria will cede Freigrafschaft, Hennegau and Luxembourg. Hennegau... This was Freigrafschaft. Hennegau, that's a good one. Where was that? Not entirely sure. Renouncer claims in Holland and Breda. Release Croatia as a sovereign state. Oh, hello, Croatia. Is that... Oh, hello there. Declare war, no casus belli, though. Oh, this is just so tasty to do, but there's still a chance of being discovered, which is a shame. Oh, well. What I want is... I can build an armory in Slavonia. So I shall build an armory. Eh, it makes me think back of our Russia game in which every place had to have an armory. But that's a long time ago. Come on, can we not have reformation now? And then make me happy with reformed people. There's a lot of Protestantism though. Jesus. That is a lot. Uh, there was that decision, though, that would increase it. Reform desire. We would need a theologian of level 3. Oh, yes. Um, if we would could get a theologian, that would actually be that missionary strength. We would be able to convert places at really high speed as well. Yeah, but too bad we don't have anyone available there. Oh, oh, hello. I'll, I'll spend on this guy if we get him for free. We have 98, so it's actually... I actually like keeping this guy and getting plus one on everything. Plus 53 points as well. I think we got the diplomatic ones. Yeah, so we keep our ruler for once. Yay. Um, merchant Republic. Noble Republic would give us one less merchant, though. Yeah, I don't like that one. Even though it's good to have a noble republic when tolerance goes up, morale of armies goes up. But the merchant republic, just having so much trade is just beautiful. Um, let's have on Corfu a training field. And I'm still trying to save up, of course, but I keep forgetting. Um, what I do want is... I need another triggered modifiers... In your trade road, conquest of Mecca, conquest of Jerusalem. Hmm. 
what do we need for this owns Judea so that would mean this area here Geo diplomacy, fabricate claim on Judea. Go ahead, trade steering plus 10% for a couple of years. Always nice. Actually, we could just conquer um, Jerusalem. Because why the balls not? It's just a Mamluk, so I don't think there'll be that. Oh, wow, peasants in Milan. Big trouble in little Lombardia. Yeah, Nexus, 62 months. Jesus, for way too long. Recall diplomat. Austria has announced Bohemia as their new rival. I guess France is dropping a little bit in strength as well. Um, Bavaria, you know what? Who are you? Oh, Württemberg ha is their vassal. Okay. Let's improve relations with Bavaria then. Might as well, you know. Truces, lots of truces. Brandenburg? How can we... Wait, what? Okay, apparently we were at war with Brandenburg at one point. Oh, and the war with Aragon, they were there as well. Oh, we can invest in a cardinal. The one in Modena could be invested in. But I'd rather not, because... Um, plus seven, someone else... France is spending on that guy as well, yeah. Which is not going to be worthwhile in the long run. Improve the relations, once your provinces, a lot of them, of course they do. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're almost at our back to our full army size again. We have 32,000 needed, and we're at 28.2 now. And the religious turmoil, how did they do that? They kind of went Protestant for it. Oh wow, Livonian order. It's actually taken Ingermanland. And Muscovy is on its way to becoming Russia at one point as well. That's uh, no surprise there. Land technology useless. Um, let's ignore them. I don't mind the prestige that much. I'll take that small hit there. You do have claims. Yes, I do have claims. Units have suffered casualties. Um, a little bit longer than they're done. Oh, a marketplace. Yeah, I do want to build a marketplace, though. I will spend the money on that. Hmm. It's despite the fact that we have quite a large area, we still cannot have that high force limit. Or has it expanded yet? Oh, we can have 6,000 more nowadays, by the way. Of course, I never bothered to look after the <laughs> we won the war last episode, so... Oh, well. Your units are still recovering, but they are getting there. Romania, Patriots. Republican tradition also increases. Yeah, we need more embargoes going so we can get more power projection on. So yearly minus one. Okay, Um. so that's also yearly, isn't it? Defender of the Faith. Okay, who are our rivals again? Uh, view your country. We have rivals, the Mamluks, the Ottomans. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Ottomans, economy actions. Oh, we actually need to send a diplomat to do that as well. Let's call the guy from Savoy back then. Even though we're almost done fabricating the claim on Judea, so. Let's issue an embargo. We've lost the trade dispute because we are embargoing each other. That should embargo plus two there. Ooh. Oh, and of course they have a lot more power in zones that we are trading in. So why didn't we do this before? Um, Mamlux and issue embargo. That should give us plus three even. Jesus. Well, we are now embargoing all of our rivals. That should give us a lot more power projection. Look at that. Plus 51. Ah, we got it. Um, 3.89. Do we actually make more money now? 19.22. 20.49 now. So, yeah, I guess it's actually working. You should always embargo your rivals. That actually does help a shit ton. Huh. Um, oh, Ferrara has used to a uh, training fields. 
I mean, it does one training field increases your year your monthly uh, manpower by two. So <laughs> why shouldn't you build them? They're pretty damn strong. And late game manpower. Manpower is probably the most uh, expensive resource to that you actually have. In that it takes really slow to recover. And you need a lot of infrastructure, as in buildings, to actually get to that point. Oh, by the way, um, ships. We can have five more barks. I want four more, though, and one galley. So a galley can be built here. And we can have one, two, three, four... One, two, three, and four barks. Then we're back at our force limit again. And our inflation is actually going down. Yay! Let's um, do at least one reduction, though. The end of civil rule disorder in France, even though they still have a lot of... Uh, they actually have Protestant zealots active right now. But yeah. Come on, reformation. Hit me. Hit me hard. I would do a lot to just let the reformation hit extremely hard and st especially if the reformation were to start in Venice that would be amazing but yeah you do need a lot of uh, ref reform desire for that we could become defender of the faith by the way huh missionaries plus one hmm uh, yeah so probably when we do go um, Protestant, I want to become Defender of the Faith, just because then we have an extra missionary to uh, have fun with for a couple of years. End of Religious Turmoil, Brunswick announced Hansa as a rival. Hansa does have some territory here. Interesting. Yeah, working our way to uh, having an embassy built. Actually getting manpower again, good for us. I want three more cavalry built. So one, two, and we need to wait for a little bit more time for another. So we'll uh, uh, change all trade uh, fleets to have two ships in them. So we need to send one. I'll send these two to Ragusa, and you can go to Cyprus. That's where we are trading as well, of course. Uh, are you going there? Yeah, you are. We have ill news. Admiral is dead. No. How much naval tradition? It's okay, actually. 29.9. We have a much higher army tradition, so... We'll see. Oh, wow. Uh, it's, it's going down, but only slightly. Why did it go down? We are embargoing, so um, you guys get together. This eight guy can come to Ragusa. You are trading in Ragusa, so. And you are trading in. They are trading in Ragusa. Okay, whatever. And they are trading in Alexandria. Um, yeah, okay, you need to go to Cyprus. You need to go to Ragusa as well. It will hurt my trade income for a little bit, but that should be fine, actually. Uh, you can go away together, start trading Venice. Anyway, we're about at the end of our episode again. Uh, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and see how I'm doing. Leave a comment if you want to say anything about it. And uh, yeah, if I'm doing well enough in your opinion. And other than that... I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Um, Alexandria, yeah, we have more power there. Look at Venice, so beautiful. Yeah, just, just going to get the armies together before I completely forget. There we go. Yeah, that's it. The end. See you guys later.